Hello guys, I'm Marchie here, and don't get excited by the title of the video, I did not buy a new computer, but uh, I am here to talk about it, and uh, let me first and foremost say I'll do a little bit of channel update stuff and then I'll get back to it, I've been a little bit slow with my uh, videos, I've been going about a week without making a given series, I haven't missed a day, thankfully, but I, 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 I waited a week before making a mineshaft, and I usually wait two or three days, but uh, I'm sorry about that, I was busy, I'm getting back on track now. That's all there is to it. But, uh, I put some Far Cry 3 in the background. It's a short game. It's an eight-minute game. And I believe it's... <laughs> I'm still a noob. I believe that I probably only have, like, 15, 16 games on it. I believe that level 75 is, like, the max level before you prestige, if you even prestige in this game, or uh, reset your stats, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that 75 is the max level. So there's two 75s in the other team. And my team's full of, like, threes, fives, and then like a 30, right? There's And then for most of the game, there's three of us on four of them. So I think I end up going like 12 and 14, but I come in second, uh, af I come in second after joining late. Uh, people are leaving the whole game that are on my team because they don't want to lose, uh, and they're being sore losers. So I don't want to say I end up pulling the team because there was one person ahead of me that did really well as well. But uh, I was definitely an asset to the team throughout the game. And I love this Far Cry 3 multiplayer. I'm just having so much fun with it. I kind of like it because it's different. It's something different than I used to say. But uh, let's get into the commentary talk. And what I want to talk about was a gaming PC, right? And by gaming PC, I just mean new PC. Now, uh, I say PC like this, but uh, if you've been familiar with the channel, I ha I've been unhappy with my computer for about two years now. But uh, the thing is... And I don't mean to complain that much, because it still is a nice computer, and sometimes I take it for granted how nice it is. Uh, it's a 15-inch MacBook Pro, uh, but I got it about... Two th it was 2010 when I got it. April 2010, so it's coming up on three years old. And, uh, you know, if I had a billion dollars a year to spend, I'd get a new computer every six months or every year, right? But uh, I think that for the average person, about every three years, it's time for a new computer, and uh, if you can make your computer last three years. Three years is like a good computer. If you have a junkier computer, it might last a year. It also depends on how much wear and tear you have on it. My mom's had her same computer for five years. She barely ever uses it. Well, she uses it every day, but she doesn't do as hardcore stuff as I do, so obviously she doesn't need a computer every three years, whereas I probably do. I probably need one more frequently. I'm, I have this thing run close to 24-7. I rarely ever shut this off. Uh, because I'm rendering videos all night, and then I'm uploading all morning, and it, there's just no time for it to stop. But, uh, I do put the computer under a lot of stress, like I said, uh, and I really need a good computer for YouTube. But, uh, the problem is, problem that comes up, is I'm a computer noob. I don't know anything. And my first intention was, okay, you know, I, I had a Mac from... 2007 to 2010, and then I had a Mac from 2010 to 2013, which is what we're coming up on. So I've had a Mac for the past six years. I had a MacBook, and then I had a MacBook Pro. And I've made all my videos on this MacBook Pro. So I'm really familiar with the Mac OS, OS X. So I, I'm really familiar with Mac operating system. But I also understand that if you want to do anything seriously, you kind of need a PC, right? So uh, I wanted to get the game Timber and Stone. It's not out for Mac yet. I wanted to get SimCity. Gotta wait three months before it's out for Mac. Three months after the original release. You know, I want to get this game, and it's not available on Mac. I want to get that, it's not available on Mac. You know, it will be available on Mac in a few months. All the Mac versions buggy. There was a time when Minecraft was buggy on Mac. In 1.5. 1.5 launched, and there was some, some part where it would crash on Mac. Never happened to me, but it does. It's just that... Mac is kind of like second-class citizens that pay a lot more than everyone else. If you if you if you can follow what I'm trying to say, and I just let myself on fire in the gameplay, I think. Um, what I'm trying to say is like they're really expensive, but they kind of take the back seat to PCs, and I can understand why. Um, so all this time I've just been thinking, okay, I'm gonna stick to I, a Mac. I'll get a new iMac, and then when I have when I have enough money, I'll just go to the store pick up an iMac. But uh, I've been sitting back and I've been thinking about it, I'm like, oh. after I try and buy these new games, oh, I think that I need a PC, and uh, I'm pretty sure I need a PC. Uh, someone said, I was talking to Chizipafu, and he said, I said, I need a new gaming computer, any tips, And because I'm taking tips from everyone. Please, leave your suggestions below. Uh, tell me everything, I'm a noob. 
Uh, but I asked Chiz and he said, don't get a Mac. I mean, that's, that's kind of the obvious part. Um, I do, I, I like Macs and I like Apple, but, uh, I think it's time for a non-Mac computer. It's a little bit frustrating because of how much money I've invested into Apple software, right? That's one of the reasons I'd want to stay with Mac, because I have invested a lot into software for my Apple computer right here. Uh, recording software, converting software, all this software, yada 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 yada. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to refigure everything out when I get a new PC. But it's necessary. So uh, I've been looking at PCs and I'm like, hmm, do I want to build one or do I want to buy one? Honestly, I want to buy one. But uh, I know that there are a lot of, you know, I want to buy one because I don't have a lot of time, I don't have a lot of energy to put into this, and like I said, I'm a noob, I don't know what I'm doing. So buying one seems like the best alternative, but I don't want to buy one from like HP, right? I don't want to buy one from Dell or, uh, I don't even, Microsoft doesn't sell furnished computers, do they? Uh, I'm not even that sure about that, but uh, I don't want to buy one from just some big name and get a junky computer that won't last that long. I want to buy a quality computer, like I know that Alienware makes computers, but I don't really want one of those. Uh, I think that optimally, I've been on sites before that do this. I want to design my own computer and just have someone else put the pieces together for me, right? Like, oh, I want this chip and that chip and that chip, and I'm gonna need a good graphics card, right? And I saw when Woody's Gamertag was building his computer in his live stream months ago. This is uh, he had a capture ca capture card built into the computer. That would be optimal for me. I'd love if I could have a capture card. Why can't I say that word? Excuse me, a capture card. <laughs> I keep saying it with a Boston accent. A capture card built into the computer. That'd be the best. But uh, I, d I don't want to be screwing stuff together. And where does this go? Where does that go? I need a case. Oh, no, I forgot to buy this part. Where's this cord? I lost this chip. Did I need to keep that? I think I threw it out. Uh, you can imagine the chaos that would go on if I tried to construct my own computer. I could barely get my own redstone contraptions together. I'm a wreck. But, um... I uh, am definitely, I want a customized computer that'll work for me, so send me to sites, tell me what sites to go to, uh, if you want to talk to me about it on Skype, maybe I could add you on Skype, we could talk about it, or Xbox, or anywhere, uh, but comments is probably the best way to get in touch with me, you can write me a PM if you're that interested, and uh, yeah, so I need, I need, I need storage, of course, I need a lot of storage, so, but I've been looking around and a terabyte seems pretty standard nowadays, this thing only has 360 gigabytes of hard drive space and it's not good at all so uh... I, I want a new computer <laughs> and of course I'm gonna need a new monitor and I'm thinking about doing more gaming on like more serious gaming like this kind of stuff that I would do on a console I want to do on there but I also want to keep the console going too um... and yeah that's really uh, all I have to say about this uh, it was a short game I joined late like I said but uh... what was that? what was my score? oh come on flick it up uh... okay I'm not 100% sure, but uh, they have a little end cutscene here. I've seen this end cutscene before. How did I go? I don't know. I might have been last. I didn't really see the scoreboard right there. Maybe you did. You can go back and pause it if you didn't. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you can help me out. Leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed, like. Tell your friends in school. Tell them on Facebook, Twitter. There's a share button. Google+. I don't care. See you guys in the next episode.